Hello everybody, my name is Alf Nephilim and welcome to Life is Strange. This is a game that I've heard a few things about and thought it sounded interesting, so I thought I'd check, I'd check it out. Uh, unfortunately, a few things were spoiled between YouTube and iFunny, such as I kind of have an idea of who the bad guy is going to be in this, and I also know that with the right choices, because apparently this game has a lot of choices and stuff, it's, I think it's like a Telltale game, or it is a Telltale game, I don't know, like, don't know what exactly is a telltale game but I know that with the right choices the two main girls in this game can end up as a couple and yes I'm going to be going for that because I'm a sucker for the childhood friend romance trope it's like crack to me see and basically I can pretty much tell just from pulling this up when I saw my webcam footage kind of go black that I'm gonna need to get my webcam footage through my action software so that's why I'm doing that right now, so let's start a new game. Okay, okay new game. Life is Strange is a story based game that features player choice. The consequences of all, all your in game choices and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose what's past, present, and future. So, is this gonna be anything like Beyond Two Souls? I loved that game. Oh! Putting that down. It's shutting up. Oh, no subtitles. Fuck. Oh. Putting us right in the middle of it, aren't we? I don't know your name, but you're one of the main characters, obviously. Where am I? Oh, subtitles all automatically. That's nice. That's very nice. Oh, look at that. I like the way the wind blows. I'm trapped in a storm. How did I get here? And where is here? This is very artistic. Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. All right, let's go. Please let me make it there. All right, let's go. Move it. House. Uh, this is definitely artistically designed. And I like that. I like artistically designed games. I mean, realistic, like hyper realistic graphics, stuff like that, those look amazing, but. Oh my god, that's a fucking tornado. Or maybe a cyclone typhoon. I don't know. It's a. Big swirling wind vortex of death is what that is. Cyclops is mad. I need a bow and arrow. Holy shit. Yes, I already saw it. Is that a cow? I doubt it. So surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color yeah. to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black I didn't and white? fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Oh, what is it supposed to be? Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. I do love She's my analog camera. Right? I should take and a quick picture now. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the yeah, early 1800s. That guy right there, that your generation that's was guy not I need the to watch first to use images for selfie expression. <clears throat> Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. 
Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can oh, you boy. please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I did know, I think. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know <laughs> this or not, Max. Didn't they Is use, there like, anybody mirrors? here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, mm -hmm. making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find I can't out believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. I didn't have a chance to look around everything. the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be fed okay. by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. This guy's a bit of an ass. I mean, he interacts with the Victoria students. Victoria doesn't waste a second around. kissing ass. Your photo for the Everybody in class is of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. People are jerks. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Oh. But the speed of power. I don't know what that means, but that sounds like a good camera. By putting yourself out there in the world, now, no matter who wins, this is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. What did I say? I have my moment in the camera, Audi, and everybody should oh, have that totally. chance. Rachel, Amber, forever. Like I should have looked at that first. Going right here. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Yeah, that actually is kind of cool. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Let's hi, talk Kate. to her. Oh, hi, Max. I hope I didn't embarrass you. Kate, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. Let's talk think? later, Max. Okay. Look. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Dear Kate, we love your porn video. Um... Porn video? Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. So Mr. Jefferson? This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Why? I mean, I guess he's kind of good looking, but he's... Excuse me. Yeah, Mr. I Jefferson, know. can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Didn't have any time. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images. Mm. To frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Now, it might be because I already know he's the bad guy. But, eh, I'm not too drawn in by him. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. 
I can tell this one. Look at that. That, that, that. That's a good camera. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Okay. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Yeah, Man, he it. even has the best plasma HGTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Damn straight. I wish... Like, I took, like, three semesters... Yeah, three semesters in, in community college. I wish we had plasma TV to watch stuff like that. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Okay. Anything over here to look at? Books? So cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive Moment by Henry Cartier-Bresson? That's rare. I don't Henry know what that Leibovitz, is. Mad respect. The amazing Eugene Smith. Sounds from that one's Abaddon from that. among the masters. Golly, of course. Lots of people I haven't heard of yet. I guess that's why I'm here. Most of them I haven't heard of. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? Oh, she is a total photo nerd. <laughs> that's awesome. Hello. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. Okay, so he took pictures of women in underwear. I think that has something to do with what I Damn, they have saw about him. Tripods here. The ball head even fiber. has a pan lock. God, I'm such a photo nerd. Yes, you are, but that's actually adorable. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Alright. Let's see what this is. I love seeing here. Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. Is grunge dead? Mr. Jefferson to get electronic mail. That like printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. Alright, so let's go. See what's at the door. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I feel like you have to pass you always Welcome to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture of Jack's class. Because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. Angie plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking I don't it, the, how people think you look. You look cute. She's so fucking shy. Take selfies That's right. Drown it out. Drown it out. Don't text and drive. Good lesson. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Really, Alyssa, huh? That's my sister's name. There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria. I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. Well, hello, where'd you come from? Yeah, there's there's always the main bitch, the sidekick bitch, and the slave bitch. Here's the portal to Warren's brain. Warren. These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. Captain's trying to start this out. There is. That's not good. That's gonna be important later. I shouldn't be so stingy with my blood. Blood, give it up. Who needs fresh blood? October, that's actually a very cute and clever way to promote a blood drive. I like that. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. 
I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous as usual. Girlfriend. I like this. They've got this little introduction sequence. Yes, this poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. What's always stopped my bullies dead in their tracks is my fist to their face, but that's just that's me. Dana talking to... I think his name is Justin. Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. Yeah, if they're nice, it's okay. Hey, it's the bitches you need to get me. You need to... She BSN. didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Hi! Poor Daniel. He's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. I fucking would! I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. So are we just going to walk by and let this happen? God damn it! That, I... Okay, like it no. Looks like she's been gone for months. Like no shit. If if I was walking by that, I do something. I hate bullies. Don't right? need a PC. Missed the poetry jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. You know who, who and where I am. Where the six hundred dollar PC laptop fully loaded. Fine, fully That's loaded. That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. That's very bad. I wonder what actually happened to her. Ask Mr. Jefferson. I'm pretty sure he knows. Good thing I left my AK at home. American yeah, that's good. That's very good. Save that for the shooting range. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome American if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. Yeah, that'd be sweet. But <laughs> Principal doesn't come out of his office Watching the world from the bright side. Rachel Amber. She's so pretty. I hate these posters. So sad. Yeah. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. Alright, Matt. How many students ever to actually memorize all this shit? American I guess we all should be I've never memorized anything. I just need to know where my specific class is. That's all I ever need to know. Yes, Halloween. My favorite time of year. The Bigfoot stop. I should develop some school spirit. Go team. Yeah. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. Yeah. That's your type. Figures Juliet will be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. What's the Vortex Club? There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. The fuck is the Vortex Club? Nerd alert. This poster has Warren written all over it. Who's Warren? Did, did I meet Warren These already? These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. There's the bathroom, that's where I'm heading to. Uh, Hayden. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. Well, that's good to know, but what's the Vortex Club? That's what I want to know. Samuel. Uh, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kind of like that about him. Well, what's so weird about him? He's just a janitor. Weird janitor cliche. You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the boards. I'm sorry, but what is that? Is that like an otter? Eh. No, thank you. Look at these trophies. 
gotta give it up for those big foots. They do stomp. <laughs> Black Wolf sure takes its swimming seriously. But otters are cute. Go otters. I wonder what actually happened to her. Okay, pretty much any time I look at that, it's going to loop what she says, so. Women's restroom. Do you have the same song on the lead? Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. <sighs> meltdown? Oh god. You got anxiety? I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? No. You're probably just under a lot of stress. Or something else weird is going on. Can I ever tell what's actually going on with Just relax. Things? Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. Oh, what? What? When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Do it. Whoa, where did that butterfly come from? Just take, take the photo. It doesn't take look like any kind I've ever seen before. Really? I've seen The blue, blue wings are practically glowing. I, I can almost feel the That's air moving around me. The butterfly feels almost like a spirit. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. Why are you in the girls' restroom? Why are you talking about blowing? So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. As he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us in I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. Oh shit, this is what's And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Shit! Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot believe who this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Oh. I did now, it. Can you give I actually me an did it. A photographer who perfectly I'm captured a human, the human time condition machine. in black and white. I'm sorry, but I gotta... I gotta stop that there? Oh, this is gonna be so much more than I thought it was going to be. I know absolutely nothing about this game. And apparently... I, apparently I was some of the conclusions about the two main girls being childhood friends. Because that's who the other main girl is. That blue-haired girl. But, uh... Either way... 
Oh, this is going to be so interesting. I cannot wait for more of this. So for now, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I'll see you in the next episode. Later.